As I look her body and hold her for the first time, it's like, this is unbelievable. There is nothing better that you can accomplish in the whole wide world than to be a mother, and it's a feeling that nobody can explain. Oh, look at the eyes. <laughs> look at this. Yes. Tell me who would I be without you? No matter how much we lose, every time I bet my life on you. I'm in so much pain. I want an apodura. I've been begging this lady to go to the hospital. And as I'm putting on my clothes, Mrs. Crystal, the midwife, she comes in there and it's like, you're not going to the hospital. We're not giving you an apodura. You need to just sit down and stay here and push this baby out. And before I knew it, Mrs. Bonnie Bella was born. <laughs> I can't believe I'm a mom. I know. Yeah. You're a great mom. You're a great you're mother. Great. You just had natural childbirth, girlfriend. I cannot believe this. Oh, but I'll be without you. No matter how much we lose, every time I bet my life on you. Tell me who would I be without you. Nothing I'd rather do. Every night I bet my life. These tears today are really of happiness. The best thing of it all is that my daughter came out healthy and everything is absolutely okay with her. I'm really in a good place of my life right now. The only thing that I want to do is to have her father come over and I want him to feel the same way. Because you know what? Anybody deserves at least that. <laughs> Thank you. Where you at? I'm at the birth center. I'm gonna come over right now. I'm gonna come over. Yeah. I had no idea that I was gonna call Stevie and have him come over to see his daughter because I was really still upset at him after everything we went through and after all the denying that he's done to Bonnie. But at the end of the day, just looking at my baby in her eyes really made me realize that I should be the bigger person and let him come enjoy this beautiful moment. Say hi to your daddy, girl. Every decision that I make from now on is with my daughter's best interest. Bonnie's here now, and I really want Stevie to be in her life. Hold her hand, be careful. Oh. I got you, baby. After six years and everything that we've done to each other, I just think it's time for us to let the past be the past. And the only thing that I could do is try to get him involved into his daughter's life because I really don't want my daughter to grow up without a father. Look at this baby. She's gorgeous. Congratulations. Thank you. She's so pretty. I know we haven't been co-parenting, and I know we're going through courts. We don't have to do all that. Stevie, I'm trying to be the bigger person because I want you to see your daughter. I don't want to walk around being mad at you. Just make sure that you provide for the little girl. That's it. And I will. <laughs>